Let's talk about soulmates. Hmm. <laughs> soulmates and twin flames. I've had both. <laughs> Lots. <laughs> okay. Okay. Number one, every single human that you engage with is a soul mate because when you two were souls before you came into your body when you were only your soul okay <laughs> only <clears throat> you contracted with each other that you would have interaction in this lifetime and that qualifies you as soul mates okay y'all were buddies as souls your soul mates and you chose that when you two came to this life you would interact with each other to help you fulfill your soul's purpose. So there again, you are soul mates. So a soulmate can be an intimate partner. A soulmate can be a child. A soulmate can be a best friend, a neighbor, a teacher. Okay. Literally anybody. It can be anybody that you connect with in this lifetime. And it is everybody that you connect with in this lifetime. Soulmates have nothing to do with human sex. Okay. <laughs> It's like they, they are everybody you interact with. And then there's twin flames. Twin flames are basically a part of you. Okay. Twin flames are not separate from you. They're a complete mirror of you. Okay. They're like, they're like you, another part of you. It's like you were split in two. Okay. And twin flames, again, if you meet your twin flame, you may not be with them in a sexual partnership. Okay, that may never happen. And it may never supposed to be happening. Okay, it may not be in the contract. What's interesting about this is that and what I really want to drive home is that if you're single right now, and you are wondering, like, where's my soulmate? Like, where's my person? I'm just here to tell you, it could be many. There may not be just one. There could be many. And isn't that amazing? Doesn't that make you feel better that there's not just one person out there for you? That every person that you connect with and have a connection with, a real connection with, is your soulmate? Isn't that amazing? <laughs> If you want to have a reading in February, I am talking all about relationships and my readings are being focused on being able to see your contract with your partner, whether that's an active partnership, an ex. If you're single and you want to know what type of person you should be open to, like who are your soulmates? So that you are open and aware and receiving them with grace and ease. I can also help you with that too. Let me know if you have any questions about that or want a book. I'm interested to hear what you guys think about soulmates and soul contracts. If you have questions about that, please let me know. I could talk about it for hours. <laughs> Take care.